look at this this has nothing to do with anything but i just found the most amazing picture ever like look at it it's a hippo getting a birthday cake <laughs> how amazing is that it's literally it literally says on the back hippo celebrating his birthday I just love hippos. That's it. That's it. That's the video. <sighs> Hello and welcome back. It's a beautiful day. It's the summer. It's warm. It's sunny outside. So I thought, you know, this is the perfect time to be a hater again. <laughs> so I'm going to be talking very briefly about some of the books that disappointed me the most on this bookstagram booktube journey that i started a few years back and some of these books i've talked to extensively already in other videos i thought let's bring this up again together <laughs> you all owe me money for some of these you really do you recommend these to everyone on the internet and then i believe all of you and then i read them and i'm like what is happening why is this not good starting with a very controversial unpopular opinion but what was piramesi like honestly it's not even that i hated it it's just that i'm still confused about the whole thing So Piranesi by uh, Suzanne Clark. I read it and then I thought that I knew what it was about, but then I was still confused on some parts. So I looked up other people's explanations and it, it, I don't know if it's just me, but does it seem like everyone has a different opinion on what this book is actually about? <laughs> and it gets so confusing because to this day, I actually still don't know if it's about what I thought it was about. I mean, to be honest, I also did not enjoy the book that much. I, I went, this was my fault, kind of. I went into this with certain expectations. Because of the cover, um, I, for some reason, thought it was going to be like this Greek little myth retelling. It was going to be wholesome, like, magical fantastical and i was going to have a great time and then i read it and it was just a bit odd and not even in like a fun weird kind of odd it was just i mean honestly i don't even remember that much about it i remember two things which are both not great <laughs> first of all i remember the main character walking around this maze like place and counting things <laughs> is that just me but is this book just about a man walking and counting things and like i get it some of the des descriptions were really beautifully written i i can't take away from that but i don't know if that's enough i feel like this book was just a lot of walking around and counting stuff and then at one point i swear i feel like i blacked out or something or did i imagine this but at the end of the thing, so the main character is, there's like a flood or something. There's like a flood and he's trying to get away from the flood. And he gets on top of something. And then all of a sudden, out of nowhere, there's this lady there. And she's like, hello, I'm a police officer and I'm here to rescue you. And it was so random. <laughs> literally read like that i feel or maybe i imagined this maybe i'm over exaggerating but it literally felt like he was like oh jumping away from the flood and he's like oh nearly escaped that and then all of a sudden he's like who's that and there's this lady and she's like hello i'm a police officer <laughs> i might have imagined that one to be honest I still, to this day, don't know what that book was about. But I do rem- but 
I do know that I probably don't want to read it again. So the next books that I didn't enjoy and were a huge disappointment Next up, um, let's talk about The Secret History, which was my most recent review. Um, you know, the more I think about it, I, I, I'm still... I don't know if I was being too harsh, but then the more I think about it, the more I'm like... I, I can't, it's just way too long for what it is. Like, if Piranesi was about a guy who is walking around a place and counting things, then the secret history is literally about the main character also living his life, walking around, going to class, and then, like, some friend of his will tell him that some crazy shit went down, and they're like, oh... You remember that time we, this like weird, th crazy thing happened and we're like, no, no we don't because we didn't read about it. And this comes up so many times, someone will come up to him and say, oh, remember this like crazy shit? No, we didn't, we, we weren't even there. <laughs> like, I don't know what I'm supposed to make of it, to be honest. Yeah, it's just it. I I put it in like too long book jail. It was too long for what it was supposed to be, and um, it was like four and four hundred pages. And like, what was it about? Was it six hundred page? Anyway, next, the Invisible Life of Addy Larue. This one, I believe, I'm completely right about this one. This just was not good, you guys. This was a doozy. This was... I mean, first and foremost, that title is just obnoxious to boot. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but it's just, it's a mouthful. It's, 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 the title is literally the reflection of the book because it's like trying to convince us that it's like some grand magical amazing story that warrants being 400 pages long and um it's just not it's 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 just not that great um Eddie LaRue is like a boring ass character and um she has a boring ass life and um, the writing is very repetitive, It's the events are very repetitive, and I get it, it's supposed to be like history, you know? She can't get out of this cycle because she's immortal, she keeps reliving the same events, and we keep reading about them, and it's all very cyclical, like history is, I get it, but just just because something is intentional doesn't make it a good decision, you know? And also, you know what, this book, aside from being way too long, it does another thing that um, just pisses me off, which is um, it incorporates a devil, the devil, the devil, and makes him boring. Nine circles of hell? I think Dante missed one. Um, the tenth circle of hell is reserved for books that are way too long for no reason and for books that are way too boring for no reason. <laughs> this is one of those books that has some potential. I was, I, I was excited for this one when I started it. It was all going great. Um, the devil was in it. I was on board. I was loving it. And then just nothing interesting happens for the rest of the book. And it's all very much something that you've already read. It was so blasé. <clears throat> Somehow I just couldn't be bothered to care. The Shadow and Bone trilogy. <clears throat> I mean, at this point, are we still pretending that this book series is good? <laughs> like I... 
did we not grow from this? Did we not learn? Because, I mean, looking back on it, I gave it way too many stars. I look back on my Goodreads list and I gave this book, or at least the first book, I gave it three stars. I'm gonna have to change that because it's just, it's, it's, it does everything wrong <laughs> that it can possibly do. I mean, it's not horrible, I guess. It's not terribly written. You know when there's like terribly written books and we all know they're terribly written and it's like, I mean, we're aware and it's like, it's fine, whatever. But like these, somehow these kinds of books piss me off the most. Because they're just kind of in between. They're just, there's no purpose to them, to be honest. There's no purpose to the Shadow and Bone trilogy. It's just not that good. It's, it's, I mean, if you're going to do cultural appropriation, at least make it interesting. At least do it right, you know? I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't care that much if it, if, if it was at least done well, um, the cultural appropriation, but it's, it's not even that. It's, 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 I remember I was very lenient with it because I knew it was targeted towards teenagers and young adults and um, it came out a few years back when every single book series was written like this. But you know what? That does not make it right. It, I'm, that was my mistake. I should not have been so kind to it <laughs> because it's just <sighs> boring. It has the potential, but it doesn't live up live up to the potential so why should i give it that crumb you know like oh yeah it has some moments it has like an idea <laughs> anyway i think that's going to be it i'm going to go now and wait for the hate comments to roll in have a great day thanks for watching